Hi, welcome to Make It. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can easily make a 500 watts inverter circuit just with the TL494 passive moderation IC and two power MOSFETs. So the circuit looks as shown here. For the power supply, you need a 12 volts battery. At the input, you also need a stabilization capacitor as shown here. So the TL494 PWM IC can operate from 7 to 42 volts, but in this case, we'll be needing 12 volts. So this zip in 12 is connected to 12, 7 is ground as shown here. The two RAM amplifiers are connected as shown here. So for the outputs, I'll be using the open emitters to drive the power MOSFETs. So pull up the correctors using 220 ohms resistors, which are rated for at least 2 watts. So for the oscillator, connect the capacitor CT, which is 1 nanofarad, and the resistor RT, which is 10 kilo ohms. This will give you a frequency of 50 kilohertz. The formula is as shown here because this is push-pull. So the frequency calculation is given as shown. So this will give you a frequency of 50 kilohertz. So to regulate the output voltage, I'll need to provide 2.5 volts at the inverting terminal of the first air amplifier so that in case the non-inverting terminal voltage goes past that, the output will be high and the PWM will be limited. Also to control the output current, I'll be using the second air amplifier. So I'll be providing 1 volts at the inverting terminal. And so that if there is more than one volt at the non-inverting terminal, the air amplifier will also provide a high output and limit the output duty cycle. So the circuit shown here by R6, R7, and C3 is a soft start functionality. So basically what this work functions to do is to provide 5 volts at the downtime pin. This will ensure a 0% duty cycle. But as this capacitor changes, the voltage drop at the time control pin will gradually drop all the way to about 0.2 volts, which will ensure a dental time of at least five of at most five percent, which is more than enough for this circuit. So connect the feedback pin to the pin two with a 51 kilo ohm resistor as shown here. This is as per design. I borrowed this from the data sheet of the TL494. So when the, the the two MOSFETs are shown are IRA 3205, they can handle 90 amperes without a problem, and they are written at 55 volts drain to source. So when the first BJT is turned on, this MOSFET will conduct because this is will appear at the emitter here. So there will be about 10 volts at the gate of this MOSFET and so it will completely turn on. This will allow current to flow through the positive 12 volts rail and through this one half winding through the MOSFET into ground. When the other transistor turns on, the second MOSFET will conduct and current will flow through the other way around. This will make a push-pull inverter circuit and there is some dead time before the two MOSFETs conduct as ensured by the dead time control of the PWM of the TL494. I see. So for the transformer, you need a power transformer which are suited for high frequencies. They are made of ferrite material. You can obtain one from an old computer ATX power supply or a switch mode power supply if you have one. Just ensure that it's large enough to handle 500 watts. So for the turns, for the primary, for these two you can make 8 turns on each side. And for the secondary, because we need to multiply it at least by 20 times, you should make at least 150 turns on the secondary side. For the primary, you need at least 0.5 AWG copper wire, and you can parallel four of those. As for the secondary, you can just use one 0.5 AWG. So, the, for the secondary side, the maximum current which will be committed will be about 2.5 amperes. So, from the for, you have a bridge rectifier, it will convert the high frequency AC into DC. This is the voltage feedback section. You can adjust the output voltage from anywhere from 100 to 400 volts using this potentiometer. And this is the feedback point. So when there is more than 
2.5 volts here, it will feed it to this error amplifier and it will control the output PWM to limit the voltage to a maximum of about 300 volts. For current control, I have this 0 0.4 ohms resistor. So if 2 amperes froze through the resistor, there will be a voltage drop of 1 volt. And if more than that froze, there will be a feedback to the secondary amplifier. And it will limit the PWM, which also limits the output current. So this is the output connector, as well as the output filtering capacitor. Ensure it's written at least 450 volts, and it's a low ESR type. You can even use a handy microfarads for a smoother operation. So the, this resistor here, ensure it's rated at least 3 watts and preferably use one rated for 5 watts. So that's all about this inverter circuit. Please don't forget to like this video, comment below, share with your friends on so social media, and subscribe to my channel of Make It for more amazing tutorials and projects. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice time.